devotion for the day is, He has a great plan for you. For we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do th those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking paths which He prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which He prearranged. Uh, mm -hmm. Prepare. Read that sentence. Okay. Prepare. Before okay. Time. It says that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us taking paths which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. That's Ephesians 2.10. It's already planned out. It's already planned out. It's already yeah. planned out. God has a great plan for your life, but if you don't know it, you still can walk in it. I'll add that still. If you don't know it, you still can walk in it. So what, what, what do it say originally? If you don't know it, you can walk in it. Okay. That, he, that part right there, it still gets me. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to break that part. Uh -huh, right. Because okay. it's not still. It ain't still. If you, if you don't know it, you walk oh. in it. You know what I'm saying? It's not you still walk in it. No, you walking in it anyway. You just don't know it. That's still. No, it's not still because still would be like, you still can walk in it. It's like you're walking in it already, not knowing. Oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So, it. Okay. I, 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 so God, it says God has a great plan for I'm, your I'm, life. I'm almost there. Go ahead. But if you don't know that God has a great plan for your life, you. It, but if you don't know it, you can't walk in it. You know, okay, wait, it's wait, wait, the will I, of God that you're walking in that path for the, the will of God for your life. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. while you're walking in it, you still don't know that you're walking in it. Okay, so I, I know for me, I, th I think for me, my good, because it said good, right? Uh -huh. My good is, I can't depict God's good based on my expectation of what I expect good to be. Yes. I think that's where I'm yeah. getting confused because I'm, I feel, I'm thinking I have a plan for what good looks mm -mm. like to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like it's mm -hmm. good yet, but I'm walking in the goodness of God. But even if, even if you think it's good and I, it, it, it is good. You, I, your, I your don't know it. Exactly. Right, right now, I don't know you it. You can't allow your situation to di dictate whether it's good or not because God called it good. Now, if it's not good for you, it's something that you have, you're not in the will. Mm. Because in God's plan, this I path he made is good. It's right good. Now, uh -huh. now if, if you feel like it ain't good, then I think you should go back and say, God, am I in your will? Because His the goodness, your goodness isn't isn't compared to what God right. My called is good. Of what I expect uh -huh. good to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you, it's not an it's not an arrival point. Right. No. It's no. No. Like, no. I'm walking in it. It's there. Yeah. You're in yeah. it. Right. We're in it right now. Right. 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 Right, right like, now. Like it's God. Crazy. Like for basketball, for example, you telling this person, "I want you to do this every time. Do the same thing every time." This person don't know. He knows just by being obedient that he's doing it. He trusting the process. Right. That's it's good. good. That's good. He trusting it. You know what I'm That's saying? Good. He, but he might not know it. Eventually, he'll know it. Mm -hmm. All he's doing is just being obedient. But it's still good. Yeah. But, it's good. but in the moment, he can't call it good because he don't see he don't, it. He don't see it. <laughs> but, the big, but you got the bigger picture and you know the outcome yeah, that it's going to be really? good. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah. It's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not still. still You're right. You I, get, I get it. I'm, I get I'm, it. I'm, I'm finite. He's infinite. Yes. So he, he sees. What I'm trying to. The beginning to, and the right, end. I'm right, sorry. I'm right, sorry. The beginning right, and right. the end. So I can't. I'm limiting him by saying his good is when I get to this place. Yes, rather definitely. Than I'm good right now. It yeah. Definitely. Because if I wait for that place, then I'm feeling like I'm not in a good place. Yeah. Or quote unquote in his in mm -hmm. his will. Yeah. That's that's good. So okay. it says God has a great plan for your life, but if you don't know it, you can't walk in it. You he prearranged a good life for you. That's what we read in our theme verse there's good things god has planned for you to do but you may never do them until you know that god has such a plan this is why the study and meditation on the word is very important it helps you become more acquainted with his plans and the life he prearranged for you 
and through the ministry of the Holy Spirit who helps you fulfill God's plan for your life, you receive the mysteries and reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I think I'm going to start right there. Go back to okay. the knowing because even me, emotions and feelings are so a real thing. Like as far as moving forward okay. on something, Okay. how do I judge that knowing? Because mm. you want to feel peace. But you also want to be comfortable mm -hmm. knowing that what I'm doing is the right thing. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. I, I get but it. I think you but know, your you're going to be uncomfortable. Sometimes you're going to know something. Right. But it's so uncomfortable till you want to make it. You know how we say, you know, it's a piece that surpasses all uh -huh. understanding. But what if that uncomfortable feeling yeah. is overtaking that knowing? Like, like someone has cancer. I know that his word says mm -hmm. I'm healed. Mm -hmm. But my uncomfortableness, the 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 chemo, they got to up the chemo now. They got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Basically the flesh. Right, right. Yeah, like, yeah. So how do we, I think, for me too, but how do we help people get through that emotional state and truly know that it's time to leave or it's time to do these mm -hmm. things so, that are, aren't aren't necessarily quote unquote word for word in the word of God, but you know that I I, I know he got a good plan for you. I can read you Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Yeah, but I can't tell you if the t shirt business or the pulpit is the actual calling for your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he, he done predestined it now. Uh -huh. yeah. He done predestined it. So it's already done. It's already ready. You're already walking in his goodness. But now that knowing, like that, because he said, you won't, what, what did it say? You won't walk it says, into it unless It you, said you may never do them until you know that right. God has such a plan. And a lot of people but God, know what they're supposed to do, but exactly. they just don't. But God also said that whatever we put our hands to will mm, prosper. That's good. But people said, but what? What is that whatever? Whatever is in his will. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever will give him glory. Whatever will bring the, the king of, of God on earth. Because right. people say, well, shoot, I do this and this. But does it give God glory at the same time? Well, they might say, well, you should let you just do photography. I do. But that's, that's ministry within that photography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it what, that whatever he gave us, that, that free range, that whatever give us like, that gift and that, that, that uh, 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 is it bringing me glory? Yeah, at, at, you've been an athletic uh, co a coach. Mm -hmm. is, is, it, is you giving God glory? Mm -hmm. right. Are you doing your ministry in that? Right. You being a videographer, are you giving God glory? Or can you bring the, the the ministry of God in that? You know, so I think he he don't say, Shalisha, uh, go work in that plant and give me glory. He give us a uh, choice. Yeah. He don't write yeah. it down. It's planned out for us. But the whole the whole idea of this plan is being in his will, mm -hmm. which is saving souls, right. uh, healing the sick, right. you know, raising dead bodies, doing everything to his glory, doing everything to his glory. Everything. That's the will. That's the plan. So whatever path we take, if it it's has to be in the line with in that, the, in yeah. the line with that. That has to be the forefront. Yeah, so I and don't think the you will can is still being prosperous too. It's that's still, still in the forefront, forefront. Yeah, being prosperous, right? Black poverty, that's not the will. That's not his will. So that's what I'm saying. So it can you can't you, if a person say Trey, look, I want to start this business selling socks. Do, what do you think, man? I think you can do it. You can do it. You put your mind to your heart in it. Trust God. They can be successful selling socks mm -hmm. because of being in the will of God. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, where your success comes from. Right. Well, it's, it, it's, it's not even that because mm -hmm. principles now come in into doing your own business. Anybody can be successful if they're not a Christian or not. Mm -hmm. the, pr you can, right. the principle right. is no. The principle can work for. Me, anybody, or anybody for yeah, yeah, yeah. Christians, it can work for uh -huh. non believers, the principles. Mm -hmm. But as far as the will of God that Shalisha is talking about, is more of um, the like, like you said, reaching the lost, yeah, and saving souls, yes, exactly, and actually giving glory to God, all of that, right? You know? So, that now, so now that, no, that knowing comes from 
that knowing as far as believers is concerned. Yeah. Believers is Am concerned. Am I giving God right. glory? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Believer or not, if I put the principles it, it's into still play, gonna work it's going to be you. successful. Uh -huh. So now the question is, do yeah. I want a successful business or do I want a business that's giving God glory? Yeah. And you, do it's you, minority. Mainly, exactly. it's your that's choice good. because yeah. now it's like, I have a choice to make a decision. Do I really want to give God the glory uh -huh. or do I really want to just do this and don't you know, just it take money. it on on my It make money, right, yeah. Right, right, right. You know, because so, even in the one that's giving God glory, it's going to be success. It's going to be uh, wealth. You know, all that comes with it. But I, I think, personally, the one that's in the will of God is going to last. Yeah, I think the, the one that's said, in the world, mm -hmm. is, it's going to be temporary. Because, actually, the, the success of the world is it's, it's, it's sort of for us anyway. Mm -hmm. And even that is like, during the time of the process, we as... Um, like believers should actually be more like foundation oriented. Like we should be more true and rooted to the word of God. Right. Because mm -hmm. during the process, we basically shouldn't have don't to. Com you basically saying don't compromise. Yeah, we shouldn't experience um, like a whole bunch of worrying. We shouldn't experience uh -huh. like that. that. that yeah. You know what I'm saying? We should know, yeah. like you said, we should know the word of God and we should know how to walk in peace. Even when a whole bunch of hell Chaos, is yeah. going yeah. around, or just like Jesus when he was on the boat, mm -hmm. like Boy, literally, go ahead. He was, like Man. during the whole situation, he was like he was calm, he was yeah. But who he was hanging around with, you get what I'm saying? The, the twelve disciples, they wasn't really true believers yet, right? Because mm -hmm. he haven't died on the cross, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. doing so, you can use them as people of the world. They was literally worrying, like they yeah. was literally like. About the, they were they were they were they were worried about their what their physical yeah. eyes uh, see that feeling that uncomfortable that, that yeah uncomfortable so yeah what I see what is, I see yeah so now like now that bring me to my uh, the next thing like like we have to practice that though you know what I'm saying even like this in the, if you want to start somewhere like start with praying don't mm -hmm. pray with no pray without music mm -hmm. pray without any of that and just pray. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And, and, and then, that, uh, they're going to take the emotions and stuff out of it. Yeah, take the mercy. It, it does. But a lot of th times, too, you tell people to pray, and they're like, I don't know how to pray. And my next question, do you know how to talk? Yeah. yeah. Well, talk. Yeah. Talk yeah. to God. Literally. Literally talk. Literally. I think when people, do, so much has changed, and they turn into religion, so automatically when you hear prayer, you, ah, nah, nah, yeah, and yeah. it's not. Yeah, you yeah. talk to God. Literally. Yeah. It's a conversation. Yeah, yeah, you're talking to God and he's talking to you. No music. You're hearing from God. And then when you take it to the next level, you might want to add music, praise and worship with your prayer. And then, I yeah. mean, it's going to elevate. It's going to elevate. The thing is, you're not letting that music run you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like most so you, I, only, I need this to pray. No, right, right. No, I can no. pray regardless. Right, right, I can right, pray right. without music. Yes. Even when I... If I, because when you pray without music, then it's going to come to, man, I don't feel it. Mm. Yeah, the feeling. Oh, wait, you got to be good. Oh, so I'm now since excited. you don't feel yeah. it, you got to know, you got to know to still pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if you don't feel it, because that feeling is not part of the word. Mm -hmm. It's not based upon your emotions or your feelings. It's based upon what yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And what you know. I know what his word yes. is. Yes. Yeah. And, and the so whole. When I don't feel it. You don't feel it. Because I know I'm still going to do Man, it. Man, right. that's yeah. exactly it. And I think people now, Christianity, they don't tie it to emotion, to feelings. I went to church, but I didn't feel nothing. So there's nothing there. And I God nothing. was there the whole time. Yeah. And God, God was there the whole time. God it's not said based he on never leaves us nor forsake us. Yeah. Right. So, so it's definitely not working on, based on your preference. It's not. Yeah. It it's not. Let's move forward with our yeah, reading. Thank you, Lord. Say, it says, um, the word declares, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchase, special people, that you may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and perfection of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's 1 Peter 2 and 9. He chose you for excellency excellence and perfection to display his virtues and his wondrous works he chose you to be the light of the world and that's what we're talking about talking about uh uh his glory and whatever we do he chose us for that to display mm -hmm. his power his excellence and virtue comes from his, his words his yeah. virtue. I mean, just knowing his word that, no, that knowing is yeah his, word. his yeah. that power mm -hmm. yeah this is extraordinary i understand this very clearly in my life and I made up my mind to live the life that Jesus gave me. Nothing short of it. That's our calling. 
That's God's plan. Oh, I like that. He said that's that. Again, he yeah. said that. He said that's our calling. That's God's plan. He said uh, to live nothing short of what Jesus gave us. Yeah, that's man. Good. Why would you want to live any lower or lesser life? Don't accept it. This year, you can be as be as successful as God has ordained for you to be, if you walk by the word. You are born to manifest the glory of God and establish his will and righteousness in the earth. And we just said exactly I, that. I, I think for me, right now, being a first generation, you know, entrepreneur, all that good stuff, and within my family, breaking generational mm -hmm. curses, is that fine line kind of between I'm a chosen generation without being arrogant. Mm -hmm. Because what you're telling me is good, mm -hmm. but the Bible tells me that a natural man, what the spiritual thing to a natural man is like, it, it, it sounds crazy, it sounds mm -hmm. foolish to mm -hmm. him. So I trust your wisdom as a man, as a natural man. And I don't want to sound arrogant, but I'm right. chosen. Yeah. I'm, I'm chosen to display his mystery. So it's not bunk what you're saying. Like, I don't care uh -huh. about what you're saying. But that ain't what God is telling me. So now it's seen like, you know how you when you first get saved and you leave your friends, they be like, you know, you, you think bet, you, uh -huh. yeah, you're better than us. But when that last part too, what he what he say you are, um, he said you should you shouldn't live for nothing less. Yeah, yeah, nothing like, less, yeah. no lower, your, less of this life. This is your calling. This is your yeah. calling. So live by the word. You are a chosen person because not because of what you're doing, your arrogance isn't in what you're doing, but what I've done uh -huh. for you. And so the more you walk in your word, the more people are going to see it as arrogance. But it's actually just a confidence and an authority mm -hmm. coming from the word yeah. and principles that you're instilling in your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because of that, you don't need to be living Nothing anything else. less. Anything right. less. Right. Anything not, less. And so I think that's people pleasing in me, though. Oh, yeah. Worrying about. Yeah. What people, I yeah. know the authority that I'm supposed to be walking yeah. in. Yeah. Right. I, I know this, mm -hmm. but what is, what is they going to say? What is this person going to say? Yeah. But I'm chosen. But I got to know that. Yeah. yeah. So go, go back to the knowing, yeah. the feeling. It's uncomfortable. Uh -huh. or I worry about what people going to say. Everybody yeah. tell me not to do this and do that. Da, 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 da. Give me wisdom and knowledge and understanding. But I know what God mm -hmm. has told me. So. And it's like what people tell you, that's good. Because now you can count all costs mm -hmm. when going into different situations. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when you count all costs, uh -huh. you knowing that, okay, I understand all of this can happen. But... God, I'm gonna trust you. Mm -hmm. You gonna know say, and that even in that, that's another way to display display God's power. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because I know what y'all said, and and I understand. I and, it's, and it sounds I, great. I, it's, it's I know great it, advice. But I know God has told me to do this thing, and I'm gonna do it. And that's another way to. The, 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 the telescope is on you now to display God's glory. Yeah. Right. Because we, we, I and have they, to trust and, 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 him now. Yeah. Yeah, if, he, if I say he Yes. Because yeah. in their mind, we told Trey, we told Trey, but you also told him what God said. Mm -hmm. So when it does work out for you, God, man, Trey, man, man, yeah, God is, yeah, he really, that's another, mm -hmm. that's a that's a place to boast about the goodness of God. Boast, yeah. right. It leads, it leads somebody to Christ. Right. And not when, it, it is working. I'll yeah, believe. you get what I'm saying. Yeah, we're it's not okay, winning. It's right. It right. So is like, winning. so it's like, good. and a lot of we don't realize like how the enemy he go against mm -hmm. us so hard. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, you get what I'm saying? Because he know that we're trying. Right, we are. Yeah, we so are. So it's gonna be harder. It like the enemy is actually putting so much thought in your mind. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He throwing dark. And he'll you. use people to come up and say, "Trade ain't a good idea." Yeah. 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 So he's throwing you know. it like. That's all fire and dark. Yeah. But we got we got protection. Right, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah that shield like, of faith, ain't it? And I feel like that's going back to that part that I couldn't understand at first, where it's like, you don't know that you are walking in his goodness, but you are. Mm -hmm. Like, because I hear what everybody's saying. It's like, well, I'll be able to show them that I'm walking in his goodness yep. when this happens. By no, the fruit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm already walking in yes. it now. Yeah. Because I'm telling you what he's telling me. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, and I yeah. trust, I, because I trust him, that's already done in the yes. future. That's, yeah. why happy. Yes. that's why I, I, I can be joyful now. I can be happy now. I, I can boast in him now. Exactly. Knowing that that's going to happen. And, and, and for them that you, the, the, the doubters, 
The Bible said they will know us by our fruit. Mm. Look at the fruit we're producing already. Right. We are young. We are entrepreneurs. We are children of God. We have successful marriages. Yeah. Like and we're not fruit, lacking. We're not lacking. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? A lot of people say when it's a it's a it's got them first two years. Yeah. You know. I already heard that. Them first yeah. two years, you know, you're gonna be behind the eight ball because you gotta. Yeah. yeah. And look, we. Right. And I think what they mean mm -hmm. by that is like grind as far as working, getting your stuff organized and stuff. And when you know, I'm they they still spirit. include lack. Yes. You know, but like us, if we just literally when we jumped off, like we literally started making like. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, but but that's all boils down to the process. We, you know. We trust the process when we will live in paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. And it's led, I honestly believe that everything we went through in our life was uh, a setup for a time like this. Right, yeah. right. Because we know what it feels like to have nothing. Yeah, right. We know what it feels like to right. live from paycheck to paycheck. Right. And, and, you know? and when I say lack, I'm not talking about financial either. I'm talking about knowing. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mentally. So, so yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people say like, we lack is got in. a lot of money, but they lack. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like when, that's when, good. When I, when, so when I said previously like lack and poverty is a sin, you oh you thought I was talking about finance? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about knowing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even through the paycheck, the paycheck, I knew that I was a rich man. Ooh. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a good yes. thing. So yeah. 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 So, so I, just I mean, clarify that. you just you literally prosper spirit, soul, and body. All of it prosper. And that's why we can be, we can have lives of living, quote unquote, like the world from paycheck to paycheck, for uh -huh. lack of better words. Let's uh -huh. just use that for an example. But like he said, know that I'm still rich. Yeah. And walk around mm -hmm. like, I know yeah. that I'm, I'm a rich man. That's and true. I think that's where I've been, even from today, mm -hmm. past. Like, when I think of lack, I correlate my lack to my finances. finances. Uh -huh. When honestly, in the spirit, I'm a strong, mm -hmm. like, you hold, I'm rich. You hold. And it's yeah, not every because area. of me, but it's because I'm walking in that goodness yeah. without yeah. even knowing it. Yes. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. and... and the, the goodness or the manifestation of Man, it is so going to come yeah. that's so good. as my knowing, my lack. Man. Yeah. And my, ooh, that's good. Got well, I got the money. I didn't got delivered. <laughs> so, so now that, that Get back over here, boys. Oh, okay, okay, that takes, nah, you good. That takes, <laughs> that takes my, that takes my ooh, relationship with ooh, God. Oh, that's good. From a performance-based relationship yes. as well as I'm reading my word now to Make him proud of me now. I'm reading my word because there's a lack mentally. Mentally. Yeah. And I, I want to know the things uh -huh. of God so that, like mm -hmm. that said, like, that's good. I don't fall short or I don't live yeah, anything, anything short. Anything less. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm constantly in my word. I'm constantly praying in the spirit Ooh. because I, that's the things. That, yeah. that I, I'm trying to feel that Ooh, lack of knowing. That's oh, good. Yeah. And that just went My it, people from a lack of lack knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it just took me back to this. He said, this, this, this knowing this just illuminated to me because there's something in the knowing. Mm -hmm. It said, but you may never do them until you know that God has such a plan. And there, that just ties back until we talk yeah. mentally. I you know. know it. Yeah. You gotta know it. It's a no. You gotta know it. I know what it looks like, but I know what God said. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. everybody, the things that I've been seeing the last couple of days is like this recession, teachers being laid off, and all these different things. And it's just like I'm mm. like, Lord, uh, mm. uh, and then mm. go back to like them benefits. Like, yeah. <laughs> if, if it's a recession, at least know I'm gonna get this paid for. And no. But God, like, no. Oh, is that your source? No. Yeah. Who do, do you know though? Do you? I mean, I know you say that. The job ain't your source. Ooh. Yeah. But your actions show me that you know that that's your Trey, source. You Trey. know what I'm saying? And that, that takes me to the scripture where he was talking about how things would literally be happening around us in the world. You know, he said, uh, this person may fall. Uh, he mm -hmm. said, uh, 10,000 may fall my left, but, but, but yeah. no, by any means, will it hurt or harm you or mm -hmm. touch you? Mm -hmm. Like, we are untouchable. And when we truly believe that, I don't care what the stock market look like. I'm going to buy a house this year. Right. I, don't know, I don't care what it yeah. look like. I don't care. I'm going to be able to buy a house when the market is sky high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Favor. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Yeah. I like the written on. Man, <laughs> I don't care what president in, in office, but I'm going to be able to get a, a great uh, insurance. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. 
we're going to be able to still do all these great things. I don't care who the president is. Right. It ain't based off of that yeah. because that's not who, who our trust is in. Right. Right. Man, I don't care if this whole city whole flood, yeah. but guess who's going to be above water? We are. I yeah. am. You see, and that's the thing. The Holy Man. Spirit leads you and guides you. Good, gracious boy. Lead us and guide us and tell us all things to come. Mm -hmm. So yes. he's going to prepare us it's prepared. And then they're talking situations. about a lack of food, a food shortage. Guess who ain't going to worry? We right. ain't. Yeah, and we shouldn't. God sent a sparrow to feed this mm. man, the stingiest bird ever, and, and and like he he a ram came out of darn bush. Come on, man, y'all yeah. talking about my oh, God. He, prepared, God. He, he's still doing this stuff. Yeah. He's still doing he's it. Do, he, he's, he's still he's doing still it. He's still that God. Yeah. He's still the but same God. But we have to know God. that though. Yeah, right. He has <laughs> not changed. And, changed, and I think that people think God has changed because their situation has changed. Well, God is the same yesterday, today, yeah, yeah. and forever. Yeah. He will never change, man. That trust and that knowing. That trust. That, that right there, yeah. that's with me. My that's thing is trusting, believing, and having faith. Faith and walk it out. That's it. That's exactly because it. Because I know. Because right. I, know. I know. In all caps, you know. It's already prepared. It's already prepared. It's already ready. Mm -hmm. I just got to know. Or I'm not going to do it. That's what it is. Yeah, it. yeah. People man. don't do it because they don't know. Ooh, that's good. That's why I like we have to know the principles. Mm -hmm. When we understand the principles, it's going to work regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as doing the process, that's when we really need like the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. we don't we need to understand peace, like love and trust, and joy, and trust. You know, like marriage. Long suffering. Yeah, the fruits of the spirit. <laughs> the <laughs> fruits of the spirit. And I think people don't put that on the table too, but you got to walk in those fruits of the spirit. Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah, and I think do. those fruit help us with our knowing when we know that we have the we have patience. Yeah. You Ooh, know, we, we have mm. love, you know, like Bishop said in the yeah. marriage seminar, you know. Two people got the Holy Spirit. I mean they can talk about divorce, but it's there's nothing that's unreconcilable if they have the Holy Spirit. That means somebody is not being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. Yeah. Because if you know, if you have love within you, yeah. and you think about the love that God showed to you, and you look at, you know, 1 Corinthians, what is it, 3, or something like that, or 4, but love is patient, love is kind, uh -huh. you look at all the what, what, yeah, yeah. what you're supposed to exhibit. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I know that I'm supposed to be doing those things, then we can come back from anything. Anything. Yeah. Because we have the Holy anything. Spirit Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I know you got to go, bro, so I'm going to go ahead and read this prayer. And it says, Blessed Father, thank you for loving us so lavishly. We trust you with our life to lead and guide us in your perfect will always. We are yielded to the guidance of the Holy Spirit to be led in the paths of success, victory, and boundless joy, manifesting your glory and establish your will, your righteousness upon the earth, winning souls and bringing men out of darkness into your marvelous light. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, amen. that's a good amen. prayer. Amen. amen. That's you got a lot more than books? So give me one of them. <laughs> oh, you can, uh, you can subscribe it's, it's online, too. Yeah. You can go to the app online. Oh, I get the app. Thank but, you, Lord. Uh, hold on.